Real quick, I just want to tell you guys, more like warn you guys, to be careful about purchasing any vehicles made after the year 2026, which is just three short years away from now, because uh, there was a bill just passed as part of Biden's uh, little strategic plan that he passed a trillion dollar plan, like, or was it like half a, half a, half a trillion, something like that, like a month ago, uh, he snuck something in there saying that all vehicles, beginning in 2026, uh, all vehicle manufacturers will be required to implant each brand new vehicle, uh, starting with 2026 models, with a chip that can remote disable your vehicle by obviously any authority, uh, Big Daddy Gov, and whoever else has the controls, right? And you might think, oh, that's fine. You know, if like uh, somebody doesn't make their payment, they should be able to just, you know, disable that car. However, you have to think beyond that because that's some very surface level thinking. Of course, they're going to sell it as that feature or they're going to, as they always do, as uh, Big Daddy Gov always does. They always sell everything under the guise of safety, right? Whether it's the lockdowns, masks, the everything's under the guise of safety. This is for everybody's safety. We have to shut this vehicle down. So this can obviously, like most things, like the lockdowns and everything else they pushed, uh, can and will be abused. Okay? I mean, you know, <laughs> don't be surprised if a very short time after if say it starts with like, oh, this person missed like three payments on the car, we got to remote disable it. Uh, don't be surprised if they suddenly start remote disabling your vehicle if you said the wrong thing on social media. If you made the wrong comment that did not go in line with the woke coalition, right? They remote disable your vehicle. Uh, so this could be abused in a very, like in a number of ways. Say you missed a child support payment for your kid. Remote disable his vehicle. So after starting the year 2026 and after, uh, I would highly advise you be cautious. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but uh, if you do purchase any new cars after the year 2026, beginning in 2026, uh, these chips will be in the vehicle okay uh it's i mean <laughs> it's kind of like getting a robot made in your house and that made being able to take you in right or record you if you say the wrong thing and then send it in to whoever they need to send it into uh so that uh they come and uh, cancel you, right? So uh, a lot of these devices are just getting, making it easier, I should say, for you to be watched. And um, as much as they pass like everything under the guise of safety, you notice like the trade-off, the little sleight of hand that always takes place, the little bait and switch is always them taking your freedom in the form of safety, right? It's like, hey, this is for your own good. This is to keep everyone safe. Ooh, let's steal some more of that freedom away, right? Oh, by the way, we gotta do this, everybody. We gotta make sure everybody on the globe participates under the guise of safety. Everybody do this under the guise of safety while we take away your freedoms, right? It's always something that steals your freedom, right? And whatever they're giving you is never worth it. Right? And it, it's never really about safety. It's about control. It's about power. That's what it boils down to at the end of the day. And so, uh, fortunately, I like older cars. So, I mean, uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of newer cars anyway. I mean, I do have a couple of newer vehicles. But, uh, I mean, yeah, there's only so much more technology you could put in these vehicles. Uh, I don't really trust self-driving cars. I, I, you know, I don't need my car to drive itself. I like driving. I like controlling it. Um, 
I don't need to purchase any of these newer cars. So, uh, you know, I mean, even when it comes to these electrical vehicles that they're pushing, which <laughs> I'm not even gonna get into that, but <laughs> um, yeah, just not my thing. I like to just put my gas in the car and go, uh, but I, I have no problem buying older vehicles. And uh, if you like older vehicles, uh, then this might work out for you because you know, I mean, who says you need to update your car every new every every year? Why do you need to drive the latest model? You know, do you? I mean, is it, is it really that important? Especially at this point where they're just going to be installing more technology uh, to watch over you, to control your every move, to listen in on your conversations, to make sure you're not saying the wrong thing, to cancel you if you are, to not allow you to have your own free thoughts. To not allow you to pursue what you want, whatever you want to pursue, and whatever you want to think. So, just a little bit of warning, you guys. Uh, starting in uh, 2026, you know, if you want to Google this and research for yourself, you can. Uh, but uh, for me personally, I mean, I'm gonna be hanging on to my DeLorean. I don't plan on selling that car anyway, or my Corvette. All those cars, both those cars are pretty much analog no computers in them they're just straight nuts and bolts and that's how I like my vehicles I like to control them I like to drive them I like stick shift I like manual transmissions anyway um, and you know what they're just no need uh, to participate in this if you don't want to uh, but uh, regardless that's all I'm gonna say about it <laughs> drop your comments below if you've heard the same thing if you know anything about this or if you're not aware of this yet I'm just making you aware of it Drop your comments below. If you have any questions, that's a place to leave them. And uh, I will see you in my next coaching video. And for you guys who want to support my work and everything I'm doing here, and all this education and red pill enlightenment I'm teaching you, hardcore truths about life without filtering myself at the risk of being canceled, right? Because a lot of what I talk about is not politically correct, but it's true. It's based on reality. It's based on observational reality. Best way to support my work is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which I'm hosting on a private platform away from YouTube, and I'm doing that to protect my content from YouTube in the event they try to shut us down one day. They won't be able to because we'll be on this private platform that I'm paying for. Right? And right now it's only a buck for the entire first month of premium Alpha Male Secrets content from me. So take advantage of it. Right now it's only a buck for the entire first 30 days. So take advantage of it, guys. Uh, best way to, it's the best way to support my work and I would greatly appreciate it. So click the link below. It will take you over my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I'll see you in my next coaching video. I'm out.